Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back here at FC Kerbeck Buick GMC in Palmyra, New Jersey. Check out this brand new 2024 Buick Enclave. This is the top trim, the Avenir all-wheel drive in Moonstone Gray Metallic. We're going to check this thing out, see what this Enclave is bringing for the new model year. So let's dig in. All right, the front end of this Moonstone Gray Metallic Enclave. The Buick bed's right in the middle of that chromed up grill. Looking good. Functionality in the grill, top and bottom. LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps, LED turn signals. Looking good on the front end of this Buick. As we move in, take a closer look at these lights. They have separate housings for the headlights and for the turn, uh, turn signals. Let me know how you feel rather than having all in one, but it's really sharp the way they cut that off. As we swing around to the wheels, what we're looking at here, wheel and tire package on the Avenir, we have a 20 inch machined aluminum alloy wheel, Buick badge on the center cap, standard brake and rotor package. Now, these 20 inch wheels are wrapped in Continental cross contact all season tires, 255 on the width, a 55 series sidewall 20s, all four corners, all wheel drive, so we pull out to take a look at this full side profile of this large three row SUV from Buick. Loving the body lines, the way they slope into the rear tailgate area over the front and the rear haunches looks good. As we move in closer, we're looking at the chrome up on the front fender vent, looking good. Underneath that on the door, you see Avenir spelled out on the door along with the chrome trim along the bottom of both doors. Up on our side view mirrors, we are color matched with LED turn signals and 360 degree view cameras. Door handles color matched with some chrome accents front and back. The fuel filler door is on the left side. And up top, we got a color matched roof with shark fin antenna, chrome on the roof rails and a panoramic sunroof. Back end of the Enclave Avenir, we have the roof spoiler coming off the top. We do have the wiper down below on the glass. It might have been a good idea. Have them tuck that up underneath here, clean up the back end, protect this from car washes and the elements. Let me know what you guys think. The Buick badge here in the center, chrome, LED taillights, LED turn signals, Enclave all-wheel drive on the left, Avenir in the cursive script on the right, color matched on the rear bumper. The panel in the middle there is the tow hitch and we'll talk about those numbers when we take a look at the engine and then we have a functional dual exhaust and both pipes are tucked up underneath the bumper. We're under the hood of this 24 Enclave Avenir and what are we looking at for a power plant? We have Buick's 3.6 liter naturally aspirated V6 engine mated to a 9 speed automatic transmission, 310 horsepower, 266 pound feet of torque. This Avenir can tow up to 5,000 pounds, MPGs, 17 in the city, 25 on the highway, 20 combined. The engine's minimum octane rating is 87, so you can run this on regular unleaded gas. All right, before we get into the interior of this Avenir, you're going to want to know, Mike, how much I'm going to have to lay out for one of these babies. Well, here we go. MSRP base for the Avenir. All-wheel drive trim, top trim, 59500 Then we got to add in the Avenir Technology Pension Package for an additional 1200 which is basically your premium ride suspension in this Avenir. We then have to add in destination and delivery of $1,395 from Buick's Lansing, Michigan assembly plant. We have a total MSRP from the factory of $62,095. Let's check out the interior. Starting with the foot box, a nice large dead pedal brake and accelerator. The carpeted mats are in the tailgate area at this time. Here is the Avenir door sill plate to welcome you to the vehicle. Power seats for the driver and the front passenger. Black leather, looking good. Some gray piping, which looks nice. The Avenir name embroidered into the headrests, nice and soft. Nice for giving bolstering, nice looking interior. Door panel looking good with the soft touch up top, the simulated wood trim around the chrome door handle and the chrome trim. Nice soft armrest with the stitching, flat black on the switch gear. Fairly skinny door pocket on this big SUV. And then we have the upgraded Bose sound system in here. Up top on the dash, we have the soft touch 
with the stitching, that nice black trim with the chrome wrapping right into the heat and air vent. Nice design, got some stitching on it as well, and then a nice large glove box. Our infotainment screen, we have Buick's 8-inch infotainment system that's fully integrated into the dash, which I like heat and air vents on either side. What we're looking at is wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, pinch to zoom capability. Really, really nice on this one. We can get our Bluetooth going. We can get our music going, Sirius XM. We got our maps like I showed you. We got our dual climate control action right here that we can sync up together. So they got you all set. And then you can also adjust your rear climate for the back passengers as well. We can get back to home. There's our Apple CarPlay Android Auto Wi-Fi hotspot. We can go to our settings. We can check out our general settings, get the vehicle set up how we would like. We can go to our apps. We can check those out. Vehicle settings, get everything set up how we want in there. We got the teen driver in here as well from General Motors. Go back to park. Really easy system to use. And now if we're going to put this into reverse, Take a look at the backup camera, nice and clear with trajectory. There's your 360 degree view. You can change views if you want, depending on how you want to see the display done, but it's really quite easy, really quite nice. And I like how they have that set up. We go back to park and now we can just go back to map and you're all set and ready to rock and roll. Now we do have modes on the side here. So we have our uh, engine auto stop start on off, our all wheel drive mode on or off, and then we have our regular drive modes, which I'll show you when we get to the dash, and then over here, four way hazards, and then we have our lane keep assist on off and our parking sensors. Now, moving on down, here's our volume knob right here, so we can keep that off, and then we have controls for our music seek and our home button. Here's our push button start right over here. So they got you covered there. Down below, we have our dual climate control right here with three stage heated seats and three stage ventilated seats for the driver and the front passenger. Underneath that, USB-C, USB-A, SD card, and a wireless charging pad. Moving on into the center stack area here, you have your push buttons to go through this nine speed automatic. You have the simulated wood, lift it up, give it a nicer feel, two cup holders, and then our Buick key fob looks very, very nice too. So up top you have unlock, then you have pop the tailgate, the Buick emblem is lock, then you have your remote start panic button, nice and light, very well done. And now we have a nice soft center armrest. And when we open up the center armrest, we have a removable tray, a big one, and then you have a lot more storage down below. Buick steering wheel, nice leather wrap steering wheel, nice 10 and 2 notches, the Buick emblem on the horn button, some chrome trim here to lift up the wheel a bit, round bottom wheel, but I have plenty of room getting in and out of this enclave, no problem. Some gloss black around the edges here, but the switch gear is flat black. So what do we have for our switch gear? Well, we have our heated steering wheel on off right there, and then we have our cruise control, safety suite controls and on the right you have your telephone voice commands and controls for the digital portion of your dash we do have paddles to open down this nine speed automatic manually if you would like then on the stocks we have our headlight controls high beams directionals obviously and then front and rear wiper on the right down below here you got your electronic parking brake head up display info and brighten dim the dash and then we have the electric tilting and telescoping wheel and then we do have safe exit in here which means the wheel will go up and out of the way and the seat will move back so you can get out of the vehicle easier when you turn it off and open the door now as we move on in closer we have that analog digital combo right we have analog gauges for the fuel level coolant temperature as well as our tack and our oil temperature and then we have that center display now if i want to take a look at the drive modes we have available to us we have tour and we have sport so those are the two drive modes we'll leave it in tour and then if we want to go through additional information in the center we can move over we can decide what we want to have let's say i want my nav up here and now we have a compass up there 
or let's say we want to go back the other way, we can go to our favorites or our recents. We can go back to the left. And again, let's say I want to have the info up here. We can have the info up here. And then obviously there's pages to go through as well. So they got plenty of information that you can take a look at when you're going down the road in this Enclave Avenir. And it's nicely done and easy to read. Overhead console, here's the area right here for your shades. I got you covered there. Now as we move on in closer, here's your garage door programmables right there. Now, if you want to have your dome lighting come on and off and you open and close the door, this button right here is off and remains off. When you open the door, your LED lighting comes on, close the door, the LED lighting will dim out. SOS button in case there's an emergency on the road. There's OnStar, and now we have our roof controls right here. So, this is for the rear shade. This is to slide the roof open. This is to tilt the roof. So, the front shade is manual. So, you have to push up, unhook it, and it flies back. And then, you can open the glass, just like that. And your wind buffeter comes up. And then you can close the glass, one touch closed. Like that. And then you have to reach back and grab this shade and hook it back in because it's spring loaded. Now the back panel, <clears throat> the back panel, you have that separate control for, and then that'll open the back. Even though the back glass won't open, that shade will open. And then you can close it back up. So it's more of a twin panel roof rather than a panoramic roof. All right, rear view mirror time. We have our standard rear view mirror. Hello. Or we hit the magic button, baby. And we got our digital rear view mirror here in this enclave looking beautiful and clear. I love that touch. Our sun visor with vanity and a light. Oh, and then does it slide? Yes, it does. Well, that's a tight fit. Driver door panel, we have two memory seat settings with safe exit, and then power fold mirrors. There we go. In and power fold mirror back out. And of course, they'll fold in when you lock the vehicle. Down below in the door panel, this is where we're going to go ahead and open the tailgate. You can set it for max open, three quarter open, or not open at all. And here's more Bose speakers. And in the mid row of this Enclave Avenir, I have the seat set for my driving position, so we can just hop on in, nice and easy to get in, no problem, plenty of room for my head, knees, and shoulders at 5 foot 11. We got leather all the way down, seat pocket behind the driver and the front passenger. Here's our rear command center right here where we have our rear climate control. We can decide how we want the air to come out with that mode button, three stage heated seats for both Caps and chair passengers. Then we have a home power source, two USB, looks like A's for connectivity back here. Rear door panel, looking good. Same use of materials, same vibe as the front. There's your front door panel looking good. Here's the back door panel looking the same. Rear seats, same leather with the piping, diamond uh, stitched insert looking good. And then you got your armrests. They are nice, they don't ratchet, but they're a bit skinny. So I wish they were a little bit thicker, but they curve in a little bit to follow the curvature of your arm as it gets closer to your body, which I think is pretty cool. But overall, it's a nice place to be back in these captain's chairs in this enclave. All right, we're going to hop in the third row of this Avenir. And as you can see here in the third row, with the seats mid-row up, I don't have enough room to stick my feet in there. So I'm going to have to have this seat move forward. So I need a short person in the mid row for me to fit back here easily. But I do have cup holder. I do have connectivity back here. I do have heat and air up in the ceiling and some LED lighting. But I'm going to need more room back here. So again, the third row in here, I like the, the way they have it set up with the leather and the stitching. So it they haven't cheaped out on the materials on row number three. But it's certainly going to be for smaller adults or children here in row three of this Enclave Avenir. Getting in the tailgate area of the Enclave Avenir, you can pop that from the driver door panel or from your key fob, or you can come to the back. Right underneath the Buick emblem, there's a button, you hit it. Nice electric assist on the way up. 
nice electric assist on the way down using this button here. And now with all rows up, we're looking at 23.6 cubic feet of cargo space in the back of this enclave. We open this up, more storage underneath here. So that's a nice deep area to put extra stuff in. Over here on the right, we have our 12 volt and power fold for the third row. So we want to power fold the third row. We hit the left button, hold it down, down she goes, right button, hold it down, down she goes. Now we got more room. Let me know if you rock with the third row up or down in your three row SUV if you have one. But to get the mid row down, you have to do that from either side. So we'll go ahead and put And now, with all rows down and the big square opening in the back of this Buick, you're looking at 97.4 cubic feet of cargo space, which is a really good number for a three-row midsize SUV. Window sticker time. My apologies for the glare, but it is a really cloudy day out today. Here we go with our 24 Enclave Avenir. Moonstone gray. Standard equipment across the top. Options, total vehicle MSRP, fuel economy estimate, made in the United States in the state of Michigan. Let's take this baby out for a spin. All right, so we are going down the road in this 24 Enclave, Avenir, and I tell you, this is such a comfortable car to drive. Seats are very comfortable. Really, really feel good. Plenty of visibility out the windshield, side view mirror, rear view mirror. No problem. We got the digital rear view mirror working, but unfortunately, that big black spot up there that you're seeing, there's nothing wrong with the camera. That's the dealer plate on the back of the windshield wiper hanging right there. That's why it looks that way. But blind spot monitoring cross traffic alert lane keep assist all that jazz in this avenir enclave we got that that uh, upgraded uh, package for the chassis ride so it is riding really soft it's riding like it's you're on a cloud everything is being softened everything is being dampened down to give you that luxury buick ride that the brand is known for within the General Motors lineup. So I like how they've done that. I like the fact that we have a very soft riding SUV because at the end of the day, this isn't going to be some sports car you're driving in. This is going to be a vehicle that's going to get you and your family and your gear wherever you need to go in style and in luxury and in comfort. And that's what this Avenir top trim action is set up to do. Steering wise, the steering is light. It is a little vague, but it's typical of an SUV handling. So I'm not going to criticize it for that, but I'm loving this naturally aspirated V6 engine. It just goes, you get that nice linear torque delivery with that naturally aspirated engine, effortless power. You're not going to be wanting for power at all in this vehicle. The nine speed automatic shifts nice and smoothly so there's no issue with that at all I don't know if you can hear that but I'm getting some wind noise but that's not to be uh, that's not a surprise I should say in a vehicle like this because you're high up off the ground you're gonna get that wind hitting the windshield you're gonna get some wind noise we were just up at highway speed there uh, but as far as road noise there's a little bit of that, but nothing too crazy. It's a really well done SUV in this Enclave Avenir. It's very, very comfortable to drive. Very, very easy to handle. And it got great visibility out all of your windows and whatnot. So you don't have to worry about 
missing something in your blind spot because you got the 360 in here that's going to take care of all that for you. I like the fact that they have your infotainment system. I know some people like bigger screens. This screen is big enough for me. I don't need anything crazy big. The handling, not bad. For a big vehicle, the brakes, nice and linear on the stop, no problems at all. So really, quite a nice setup here in this Avenir. And the car shifts smoothly and down the road you go. So really well done vehicle here by Buick in this Avenir uh, Enclave. So let me know if you're in the market for a midsize three row SUV, what do you think about this Buick Enclave Avenir? Is this too expensive for you? I mean, it's 62, 63 Gs. Let me know if you would do something a little less expensive, where you think you might be going, either within the General Motors lineup, within the Buick lineup, or maybe somewhere else with your hard-earned SUV money. Put that in the comments and let me know. But I do want to thank FC Kerbeck Buick GMC for allowing the channel access to this 2024 Buick Enclave Avenir all-wheel drive in Moonstone Gray Metallic for a review today. I'd like to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Please also consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell so you'll never miss another Shabby's Rides video. And I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care, everyone.